So we're going to look at some notation um, that's used to describe derivatives. Uh, we have one notation here, this prime notation. This is the main notation that you're going to see used throughout your calculus course is probably this prime notation, right? Um, but the prime notation kind of can be inconvenient, right? So, so the main thing is that, so given, given a function, um, f of x, we can say that f prime of x denotes the, the derivative. And here we mean, of course, the derivative function. Um, and so this prime notation is convenient when you want to talk about derivatives at a point, like when you want to talk about slopes of tangent lines, because of course um, we can then say that, you know, say f prime of c gives the value at, say, x equals c. So it's really nice about talking for talking about value of a function at a point or value of a derivative at a point, giving the slope of the tangent line. Um, it's not so great when you want to talk about, you know, rules for derivatives, formulas for derivatives. For example, for this example that we did here, right, um, in order to tell you that the derivative of this function is, is given by this formula down here, I kind of have to write out a whole sentence, right? I have to say something like, you know, if f of x equals x squared plus 2x, then f prime of x is 2x plus 2, right? For example. OK, so that's fine. Um, alternate notation is, is due to uh, Leibniz, one of the co-founders of, of calculus. And Leibniz uses notation like this. If y equals f of x, then we write dy dx for f prime of x, okay? Or you might even see d dx of f of x. You can see it written like that, okay? Um, and, and so the nice thing about this is that rather than having to write out the sentence, you can just say, and you can al almost read this d dx as the derivative of. So the derivative of x squared plus 2x is 2x plus 2, which is a lot more concise than having to write out the, the conditional statement up here, right? We can just simply say the derivative of x squared plus 2x is 2x plus 2. Um, so it's a very convenient notation for context like that, because um, you can quickly write down these expressions, tell somebody what the derivative is, give a formula for the derivative as a function, and then if they need to plug in a point, they can go ahead and do that. Um, the downside to using this notation is this is very clumsy if you want to talk about the value of a derivative at a point. Um, you'll often see things like, you know, so, so for saying something like f prime at 1, you'll see things like, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of f of x, and then we're going to evaluate, and we draw this like vertical line to say we're going to evaluate, and we're going to evaluate that when x equals 1, right? And that's that's really clumsy notation. So depending on the context, depending on what you're trying to tell somebody, you might choose one notation or the other. You might choose the prime notation. You might um, choose the Leibniz notation. Um, some people might also just go with a, uh, with a simple you know, y prime, right? Keep it short. Uh, you'll see that as well. Um, so all these different types of notation will pop up. Uh, be careful with this notation dy dx, although it looks like a fraction and although in some ways you're going to find that it behaves like a fraction, you shouldn't treat it as a fraction, right? It's, it's a single unit denoting the derivative, this derivative function. Um, so beware of that. Uh, resist the temptation to think of this as a fraction. Um, 
I think where some people think of this is they think of dy dx as you know sort of the limiting value of, of delta y over delta x, right? So I guess before you take the limit, maybe it was a fraction. In the limit, it's not really a fraction anymore. It's more like a function. Um, with, you know, it's this, it's this derivative, it's this derived value. Um, but uh, in any case, you're going to see all these different types of notation. So don't be surprised if you see both. Sometimes even in the same problem, you're going to see both notations used because um, authors will choose one notation or the other depending on which is most convenient and generally which is most concise for, for the thing that they're trying to c express.